Welcome to this next episode. We are going to be looking at some ring rows with these gymnastic rings. So the idea is with these gymnastics rings is we are going to hold them above us with our body touching the ground. We're going to try to keep our body straight. And the idea is that our arms are going to pull forwards towards our chest. And we're going to try to touch the ring on our chest. So I'm going to grab the rings here. Body straight underneath, arms absolutely straight. I pull and then come back down. So the beauty of this exercise is the fact that you can make it very, very scalable by increasing or decreasing the height of your torso, so where your arms are, or increasing or decreasing the height of where your feet are going to be. So to begin with, let's just start playing around with how high our torso is from the ground, okay? So if when we're holding the rings, our torso is near on parallel with the ground, so uh, we're very close to the ground and we're very straight, this is going to be a lot harder to do and pulling than if we were at a greater angle, okay? So for instance, if I was to increase the height of this ring, the, it would increase where my arms would be and the angle of my torso, okay? I'm just going to use the one for the moment. Um, from here, I'm going to put my feet down, my arms straight, and now the actual pull is easier to do because the angle of my body is at a greater, steeper angle. The second thing that we can change is actually where our feet are going to be. So you'll see that I have this step ladder here. And I'm actually just going to use one ring for the moment. So I'm just going to use this ring. Again, I'm going to hold it like this. And I'm going to be side on so you can see where my body is and how straight I'm going to be. So I'm going to keep the ring at the height that it was. And to begin with, I'm going to put my feet on the lowest rung of the step ladder. Now from here, I can keep my body straight, pull, and come back down, okay? Now, that was what I did originally. This time, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna put my feet higher, again, changing the angle of my body, and remember, the more parallel to the, gr the ground I am, the harder it is going to be. So again, from here, I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna walk my feet up until the top, and from here, I keep my body straight, and now I pull, and come back down. So again, you can see that I am parallel to the ground and it now becomes harder to do the exercise. So as you can see, changing the height of the rings or your feet to change the angle of where our body is going to be is what's going to make this exercise easier or harder for you. Okay, let's have a look at some of the pluses and minuses of using the rings and doing ring rows. On the plus side, the first one is the fact that it is highly scalable. By changing the angle, we've said, you can make this easier or harder, and that is very easy to do by just changing the straps, changing the height, or bringing your feet up higher. Okay, so the second benefit is the fact that we're now doing some pulling. We can change the angle, which means we're gonna be able to do a type of pull depending on where our body is going to be. So the other great thing is the rings are very unstable, okay? So they move around a lot, these straps move around a lot, and it means that any stabilizing muscles to keep your arms in and doing the pull are really going to help when it translates onto a bar where you don't actually need to use those muscles as much. Okay, so moving on to some of the negatives of the rings. Number one is the fact that you actually need rings. So you have to go out and buy these, um, they come in a lot of different qualities um, and to be quite honest, we don't actually need very high quality ones. You can get these fairly cheap again off Amazon or eBay. I'll put the link in the description, but they can come in very handy with different types of training. Also, because the mechanics is slightly different, the pulling forwards is not going to translate to the pulling down. So you're gonna be working the mechanics slightly differently with rings, which again, we kind of want to mirror the pull up as accurately as we can 
So again, there's a definite negative with using the rings as training for the pull-up. Okay, so a couple of things to think about when you are doing the rings. Now, first off, we want to try to keep our hands facing forwards. So this is going to replicate when we go up onto the bar. We want to try to keep the rings in this position rather than this position, which will generally start to happen. You're, they'll try to pull inwards, so you're going to have to force your hands outwards. So the pull is going to translate as accurately as we can onto the bar. Lastly, one of the other problems is the fact that when you start becoming fatigued from doing the training with the rings, what generally happens is the back and core muscles start to get tired. And you start to see that there's this bend in the torso. You need to keep your body straight the entire time. Otherwise, it's not doing the work correctly and you're actually putting the, the stress on the wrong muscles. So what generally happens, again, I'll use just one, bar, uh, one ring from the side. So when, let's go up here, you wanna keep your body straight, squeezing at your glutes and your abs, and this is where you should be. Generally, when people become fatigued, this starts happening. And when the bend in the butt and the hips starts happening, this is when you know that the quality of the pull is not good at all.